The SU near Q CSV program combines two input Q files into one output Q file. The output file contains values from one input file as well as the nearest values from the other input file. You specify which values you want to output from the other input file. You also specify which values mean nearest. That is, do you mean nearest CDP number, nearest coordinates, nearest point numbers, or nearest station numbers? Basically, the SU near Q CSV program merges values from two input Q files into one output Q file by copying the nearest values from one file into the other. Tests for SU near Q CSV exist in the demos directory. If you are unfamiliar with Q files, you might want to watch my video Spreadsheet Uses, Dix Equation, Time to Depth. However, the examples herein should make things clear enough anyway. Briefly, Q files are comma separated values files. Q files have header records with the names of values on subsequent records. The header records also identify whether subsequent records contain tuples. Tuples are values such as time velocity pairs. There can be varying number of tuples, fixed number of tuples, or no tuples. Names of values can be anything reasonable, but often these names need to be seismic Unix key names. It depends what you're doing. Names in header records may be prepended and postpended by digits and underscores. For example, 12 Fred 24. The prepend and postpend are ignored by SU near QCSV. Example setup of SU near QCSV. The quin file has the values to copy from. The tin file has the target locations to copy those values to. The dimx and timx parameters specify the values that define nearest. In this example, nearest means nearest CDP numbers. The OREPS parameter specifies the names of values to copy. Here are what the input files look like. This is an example of a varying tuples Q file. It contains CDP numbers and a varying amount of time velocity pairs. This is another Q file containing CDP and TSTAT values statics. Here is what the output file looks like. These are the TSTAT values from the nearest CDP number. Note that nearest CDP means nearest CDP number. SU near QCSV does not know the distance between CDPs and it does not know whether CDPs are 2D or 3D. If you want spatially nearest, you must specify XY coordinates. Note that SU near QCSV knows to insert the TSTAT name and values before the tuple names and values. If the TSTAT name already exists in the TIN file, SU near QCSV will replace its values rather than inserting it. Examples of that will be shown later herein. Of course, the quin from Q file often contains every CDP and more values. For example, this Q file was output by the SU Farold CSV program. This is just the top of a file containing many records. The SU Farold CSV program computes a floating datum value. See my videos about floating datums. Here is what the output file looks like. These are the TSTAT values from the nearest CDP number. Here is an example setup where the shot depth and upload time are copied from near shot to nearest receivers based on XY coordinates. The desire to do this may arise during statics manipulations. See my videos about manually deriving refraction statics and spreadsheet statics. 
Here's another example setup where the shot depth and upload time are copied from near shot to receivers, but based on point station numbers. Again, desire to do this may arise during statics manipulations. See my videos about manually deriving refraction statics and spreadsheet statics. Here is an example of a fixed tuple Q file. The C underscore SU underscore N DIMS record contains a name TNMO and also time values from 0 to 1000 by 100 milliseconds. Each Q record contains a velocity value for each time value. The SU near QCSV program also understands fixed tuples Q files and will insert values before the tuples and also add commas in the CSUN DIMS record. Parameter O tuples has options for tuples. You can preserve the tuples from the TIN file, copy the nearest tuples from the QIN file, or copy neither. You cannot intermix tuples. You cannot list any tuple names in the O reps parameter. You can, of course, use the SU near QCSV output with other programs. Here, for instance, a varying tuples Q file, time velocity pairs, is input to SU bin QCSV for temporal and spatial interpolation. That output is then spatially smoothed using SU smock CSV. SU near QCSV inputs two Q files. Sometimes it is easier to obtain a desired output file by exchanging the quin file with the tin file. There are other parameters in SU near QCSV. I will not discuss them here. Similar parameters exist in the SU near CSV program. See my video about crooked and straight CDP profiles. The next part of this video is probably more relevant to programming and testing people rather than data processing people. The basic issue is this. Internally, this program has to match names between two Q files. Those files will often have names in different order. Those files will often have names that exist in one file and not the other. The record order in these input files should have no effect on output values except multiple exactly nearest locations as explained on parameter ORDP. The order of names listed in the OREPS parameter should have no effect on the output values. There may be an effect on the order of the output value names. So, how to test the name matching logic? You can find the tests in Demos Geom 3D SU near QCSV. First, I used a spreadsheet to define this Q file. Note the names are simple, B, C, D, etc. And the values are simple and unique. And all values increase except for name J, which decrease from 880 to 810. Then, I output a CSV file containing the previous values. Next, I added one to all values except name G, where I added five. Then, I output another CSV file containing these values. Why? Well, this allowed me to easily test when SU near QCSV outputs values from one input file rather than the other. Then, I rearranged columns and rows in the spreadsheet and output more CSV files. Why? Well, this allowed me to easily test that name order and row order do not affect output values, except for parameter ORDP. Then I deleted subcolumns and rows in the spreadsheet and renamed some names and output more CSV files. Why? Well, this allowed me to easily check that different names and amounts of rows and names still perform correctly in SU near QCSV. 
As a simple example, here's a setup which uses the original CSV file and the CSV file with one added to most values. Note that OREPS parameter has names DCM. The output has DCM replaced with nearest values, which all end in zero. Almost always there are so many possible tests that you cannot perform or save all of them. For instance, values of name G end in 5, while values of name J decrease. I use them to test ORD P parameter, not shown herein. The SU near QCSV documentation is included next. I remind you the documentation can change after this video.